Hi, I'm Austin. Welcome back to another episode of Chinese Cultural Spotlight here in Sydney. And this episode will be exploring everything to do with traditional Chinese medicine. Now, traditional Chinese medicine has been used by Chinese people for thousands of years. And even with the introduction of modern medicine, it continues its use today. So there's no better place to try this than, of course, in Chinatown here in Sydney. And so today we'll be going over there to understand a little bit more about these traditional medicines as well as those procedures and examination techniques. This, of course, includes things like cupping and acupuncture. Now, I know for many people that are unfamiliar with these practices, they can seem a little bit overwhelming and daunting when you're first looking at them. But fear not, that's why today I'll be going so we can experience these together and hopefully we'll be leaving with a much greater knowledge and understanding of traditional Chinese medicine. Here in downtown Sydney, we're just a little bit away from Market City and Haymarket, Chinatown, and we're able to experience one of the best traditional Chinese pharmacies, and that is Beijing Tongrentang. Pao zhi sui fan bi bu gan sheng ren gong pian fei sui gui bi bu gan jian wu li here is actually the motto of Beijing Tongrentang and on each panel. This roughly translates to, although Chinese medicine is super complicated to make, no steps or processes will be skipped. And although the ingredients are expensive, none of these will be left out, leaving a high quality product. We're now behind the counters and you can see the dispensary has all of these different drawers on a big wall with different ingredients, seeds, herbs, and spices. So with all of these ingredients, they're then taken over by the doctors here and laid out and separated and put into own, their own individual packages to make different medicines. So for those that don't know that much about the history of Chinese medicine, you can actually see in the pharmacy here, they've got a wall with nine of the greatest contributors to traditional Chinese medicine. And among them, you can see names like Li Shizhen, who collated a massive medicinal book with over 18,000 entries in there. And this piece was actually coined as a master work in Eastern medicine, which is super exciting. So it's definitely something worth checking out. So what is Chinese medicine really like? Well, let's find out. Let's go speak to one of the doctors. So what Dr. Shen is doing now is one of the four components of Chinese medicine. So we have wang, wen, wen, qie. Okay. Wang means to look, then means to sniff or smell, which might sound a little bit strange. Then means to ask, and qie, the final one, which Dr. Shen is doing right now, is about feeling pulse and arteries on someone's arm to understand what's going on in the body. Dr. Shen has just put two acupuncture needles into where my thumbs are and that is to try to help alleviate some of the symptoms that she was talking about before during our consultation. <laughs> right now we're doing a procedure called Ba Huan, where little cups um, are filled with like I guess hot air and then put on my back 
and they suck that out and pull my skin up, and that's supposed to alleviate also some of that heat that Dr. Shen had told me was a symptom when she did my consultation. And although I'm sure it looks a little bit painful or scary, it is actually quite relaxing when you sit here and enjoy it. So I'm going to continue to do that. Oh. <laughs> and that is it guys, thank you doctor. Now you know what Bargwan looks like. Very exciting and interesting experience. So that now concludes our visit to the Chinese medicinal dispensary today. It's been quite the experience. We've trialed a few different things like acupuncture and ba guan, a traditional Chinese cupping method. And we've also been able to see a lot of the different spices and how some of the medicines are created. Ultimately, I think if you've not given this a go, I think it is a really worthwhile experience. And yeah, come for a visit next time you're in Sydney.